So guys, while I do specialize in Google ads, uh, my agents and myself, we do run quite a few Facebook ads, mainly for people who uh, are already running Google ads with. So it's definitely not our specialty, but I have a lot of people asking me how exactly I go about running Google ads. Um, I'm going to take you through a client of ours today and the ads uh, and complete rebrand that we did for them. We will be releasing a little rebrand case study and just showing you how big of a difference a rebrand can actually do to an e-commerce store. So straight away, let's get into it, guys. I'm going to show you today how to run Facebook ads for an e-commerce store that's on a fairly small budget, nothing too big. Uh, and what you would want to do to give yourself kind of the best shot at success, but not overcomplicating it. So most of the stuff I do is quite simple. Um, I have at the moment in the past run a DPA remarketing ad. So if I can even spell here, um, which I will turn back on. It's just a very basic dynamic product ad. I have a video on the channel showing you how to do that. But today I'm going to show you exactly what we've done. So in the beginning, um, what we did was we've just created these ads where my team has uh, in the Creative Hub. This is a Hampton Hampton style uh, e-commerce store selling Balinese products that they import into Australia. They have one physical location and they are slowly expanding online uh, and we're kind of helping them take the next push. Um, basically what we've done is we've reshot all their photography um, of their of their products uh, and we've created some custom content videos and stuff like that. Um, Alex, my team member, went down to the beach and shot a lot of these and also in their store. Um, and as you can see, a lot of them are really, really nice. So what you need to do is just create a mock-up. I'm just gonna show a mock-up that my um, staff have created. This is a carousel mock-up. So I'm just gonna name it carousel so we know. Uh, and if you scroll through it, very, very basic. Our coastal decor is giving your home the good vibes. And we're just wanting people to click there. We're not even gonna bother putting a link. We might split test it, add a link there, but we're not overcomplicating it. We're just kind of wanting to test the waters, see what creative works quite well. As you can see, all the imagery is really, really nice. Um, all branded uh, according to their store. I'll quickly show you their website, which if you go in the past and have a look at previous versions using an app, which you can do. Um, as you can see here is their um, branded search ad that I have running for them. This is their physical location and this is their website, which we have uh, provided all the content for. We haven't actually built the website, but all this beautiful banners and imagery, um, we have actually created this for them. Um, and also these sort of collection images uh, as well, making the store all custom. It's still in the process, as you can see, um, of them updating it. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's, um, it's really, really nice. It's, it's themed, it, you've, we've used the custom LUT over it to make it look coherent. And this is the sort of stuff that actually helps all kinds of advertising, right? Google, Facebook, um, Pinterest, anything you're running, uh, this will help that because it looks cohesive. It's branded nicely. It doesn't just look like a drop shipping store. And these guys aren't drop shipping, so I, I will say that. They do have physical stock, but in terms of the ads, it's still the same thing, right? So. You used to be able to just click up here and you would be able to bring in the ad, but at the moment you can't do that anymore. So we're just gonna create a new ad. So click the plus symbol and we are gonna go straight for sales here and click continue. Uh, I'm gonna do a manual campaign. I don't really like these Advantage Plus campaigns. Um, it is a lot quicker to set up, but I prefer to do the manual method. Click continue. And this will take you to your normal screen. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is conversion campaign. Uh, and I'm just gonna put the date 17th of the 3rd, 22. And then I'm just gonna go new content, just so we know what it is. Doesn't really matter uh, what you name this guys, just so you know what it is. We are gonna go for sales. We're not gonna use a catalog here. Um, you can use campaign budget optimization if you like to make it a little bit easier. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna set it at the ad level, the budget. Uh, and how we're gonna break down the budgets is we're gonna start off with probably a Hamptons uh, audience that'll be women only, Hamptons, if I can actually spell. Women, and we're probably gonna go 18 to 60 on this. So just name it something that you're gonna know and be able to compare. Uh, I'm not gonna click the add to cart. I wanna go straight for purchase. Uh, and because on this um, store it hasn't been prioritized, 
we will go in and actually set that. I might do a completely different video on that, but this does need to be prioritized. Um, I'm just gonna set this to, at the moment, $10 a day, just because we're gonna do a fair few um, budgets, uh, sorry, a fair few ad sets. Uh, and in terms of the audience, I'm just gonna edit this in here. I'm going to go women, and I'm gonna make the cutoff point 60. Right, we are gonna go Australia wide because we ship Australia wide. Uh, and we will go people living in these locations. And I might go Hamptons. Let's see. Not a hell of a lot is coming up. Very surprising that there isn't more Hamptons interests here. So I'm just gonna put in what we can. Let's see. Let's go coastal, maybe. Because coastal and Hamptons is kind of similar. Uh, we may even go interior design. And obviously, if you do make that big of a change, we will change this. So I might go Hamptons and interior design, audience. Let's see some suggestions, home improvement, not so much. We might do one with living room and things like that later, but for the moment, interior designer, architecture, some of these aren't too bad. Uh, I might do just a bit of a mix here and actually add in modern furniture and living room as well, just to beef out that audience here. So our audience is fairly broad, guys. It's around five and a half to 6.4 million. Obviously, um, Facebook now does have expansion as standard, um, but it is what it is. We have given it some information and we are gonna let the algorithm do some of that heavy lifting. I'd like to lead in with just having really good creative, assigning the correct gender and age group uh, that we want to track, and then kind of leaving it to the algorithm from there. So let's click next now. There's still. So I'm just selecting the correct Facebook page and Instagram. Uh, we're not going to use a dynamic format. We want to use a creative uh, mock-up. So let's just choose the carousel first. Perfect, and we wanna send them to the collection page at the moment for these, just because we're kinda of wanting to push the store as a whole and the different types of products that they have. So we're gonna give people a bit of, um, I guess, leeway and um, give them a wide range of options here to select from. So this one, we're gonna obviously call it the carousel um, ad. Just double check everything in here. Yep, coastal signage. Um, if you are doing completely different types of products, it is smart to send them to the relevant uh, product here as well. So we'd actually send them to that, but because they're selling multiple different types, we're sending them directly to that um, entirety of the collection, just because we're wanting to showcase our goods at the moment. But what we'll do is we will do a variation where we send them to the individual product as well. So. From here guys, all you need to do is review everything, review your URL, review that the correct pixel is selected, that the ad is um, named correctly, that it looks good. So just double check it, see what it looks like. If you need to change anything, make sure you do that. Uh, and then all you need to do is click publish. So that's the first ad. Uh, what we'll do now is we will duplicate this ad and we will use a different creative uh, mock-up. So we'll just click change mock-up and we'll do ad number one, which is the golden crab video. Golden crab video. So we do like to do a, a bunch of different types of creative. So video, uh, vertical images, square images, um, and just have a bit of different 
types of creative there just to one so we can cycle things in and out and two give give people some different things to make it look like a really big brand even though they're not and as you can see it's it's you know it's a nice professionally shot video that uh, showcases their product in a very 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 uh, non-intrusive really way we're just wanting to get the name out there it is kind of um, not very very heavy messaging we're just seeing what works what gets us a good click through rate do we get some conversions add to carts and things like that at the moment so here we'll just click publish and then let's do the next one we'll just duplicate this change this change the mock-up uh, video Boutique homewares. And on this one, I might actually just send people to the homepage. So I'll put that in here. Homepage. Publish. So on this one, I do need to add a headline there. Sorry guys, I did miss that one there. Duplicate. Change mock-up. I'm probably jumping the gun here and the guys actually haven't even finished and I'm here doing a video on it, but it doesn't matter. You're getting the point of, of what we're doing. Um, carousel number two is what I'll do it. It'll be more beachy. So beach shack. Carousel. Perfect. And then we're sending them to the best sellers for this one and then click publish. So I'll just add that we are sending them to best sellers here, click publish. And uh, these ads are ready to go guys. What I'll do is I'll now create a few different variations um, and different ad sets, sorry. Uh, and from there, I'm gonna let it run for probably three, five days without even touching it. I just wanna let it do its thing. Uh, and review it after that. I might even let it run a full week before touching it just so I can collect some information. These are on quite low budgets. Um, we will plan uh, to expand these once we start getting some results. Um, and in the next video, what I'll do is I'm actually going to do a performance max campaign on Google ads for them. So I'll take you through performance max, which is a completely new uh, type of campaign for Google. Uh, and those of you that are in the course, which just relaunched, uh, you will get a full module on Performance Max and exactly what I do. Uh, and I'll take you through this exact case study um, as we go through it. So if you do want to get into that, guys, there's still an intro offer happening. I am not going to leave that intro offer for a long time like I did in the last course. Uh, jump in there. Lots of good stuff happening. Uh, and yeah, if you ever need us to look at your ads, just uh, apply below, guys. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. And thank you very much for watching. See ya.